I mean, you have to sit there and be quiet and stuff because otherwise, <laughs> otherwise you get shushed shush, 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 by shush. the librarian who was shush, never a hot librarian. I know, I'm it's a gonna, lie. I'm just saying. It's a lie. Yeah. It's only in movies. Particular kind of movie. Um. <laughs> mine seemed, I think mine are above the line normally. <laughs> I'm not normally. They are above the line. Let me okay, well, then rephrase that. Then you and I are watching different movies. That's why we date differently. <laughs> That's exactly why we date differently. Welcome to Spaghetti Junction. My name is still Gareth. <laughs> and my name is still Bruce. <laughs> we talk about things. Today, we, we just really, really don't, don't know where, to go, where it's going I don't know go. what I'm saying either. <laughs> the bottom line is we have no idea what's going to happen. Why? Because this, uh, we just felt, well, we just, because, you know, we just felt it was time for just an episode, where, which we'll do once in a while. We actually do not have any idea what we're going to talk about. There are no rules. There, well, no rules. There are no topics. Nothing's <laughs> been planned, and um, to infinity and beyond. That's it. Yeah, it's 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 cool to actually just keep it, you know, nice and spontaneous, and see what we what what comes out. You yeah, know? what comes out of our darkened souls. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> okay. okay, minus. I think yours might be fine. All right, that sort of escalated a little bit. <laughs> and we actually. Did record or well, try and record this a few days ago, and um, and uh, something happened. we got halfway through. We we're really on fire. We we're speaking about the uh, the spiritual world and yeah, we the doing? ring <laughs> and freaking paranormal activities. And um, and my machine decided to stop recording. <laughs> yeah. So that wasn't yeah. yeah. So that didn't make my day. It didn't make our day, actually. No, it didn't. It didn't, didn't make our day. No. But that's okay. And then, as we were trying to re-record it, someone broke their <sighs> cable off in my freaking beautiful audio interface. <laughs> Not what's his fault, but I mean. Well, that yeah, well that makes that makes for an interesting story to actually cut every, to actually sort of do it. You know, kick everything off because <laughs> of what happened. Um. Oh yeah. So we had it. We we recorded. We recorded one podcast and we decided, okay, we're going to get together on a Friday night to do the next one. Yeah. Because we went for quite long with uh, with with one with our last one that had to be uh, in two parts. That's right. <laughs> so we thought, okay, cool. Let's just do like Friday, and um, that's when that's when it ran. That's when our, my machine stopped. So we're like, okay, we're out of time. So let's make another plan. Correct. And. Uh, so Friday, <laughs> Friday comes around and Gaz, Gaz comes around again, and we started we set everything up after watching after watching a movie after having dinner. dinner. Exactly. And um, right at the end. And <laughs> I had a, a cable that was iffy, and um, yes. Then I removed it from one of the jacks in the audio interface, and it left part of itself mm. inside the jack. <laughs> This is pretty much my baby. I got it maybe a few months ago. It's like brand new audio interface. It's pretty. It's it's. Let's just say it's not cheap. No. So um yeah, when that happened, I was like, oh. <laughs> but thankfully, at that point, I had had food, and I had watched movies. So yeah, I was like, so okay. you were you were super chilled about it, which yeah, exactly. I really appreciated because I felt <laughs> I felt so bad. Like it could I, have been bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, firstly, firstly, it's it's my piece of gear that was the offending. Yeah object secondly it's your brand new audio interface <laughs> and i was like oh, oh no. for the sake of the podcast man oh my word so i managed to what did you do um because i honestly don't know well thank goodness for youtube firstly <laughs> yes like all praise to the almighty youtube because i've got to be honest <laughs> because uh yeah so i took the i took the audio interface with me and took it to work because yeah. if anyone doesn't know me i work i teach guitar at a music school at a, in a music shop so I thought maybe the guys would help me and then before I even spoke to the guys at the shop I went hey, let me just hop on YouTube and just see yeah. I had found a couple of videos of guys actually using um, screws so I tried it um, messed around with quite a bit last night yeah. but this morning I got it you right got it. you must have felt good um, but, it's not, but it doesn't end there so I pulled out part I was like yes oh crap there's oh, still shit. part there's still some <laughs> there's still some in there yeah and I actually was able to find another screw 
and I actually managed to got it out to pull it out. It was like I. That has to have had been quite a good feeling. The relief was. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was something to behold, I must say. Exactly. Um, so I'm really glad that happened because yeah, my Sunday suddenly got infinitely better. <laughs> now you can breathe a bit. I can. Yes. And you you are actually often like, well, once this this um, podcast is done, you're off to uh, get your shenanigans on. Well, it's well, a it's it's a that's the thoughts. it's a it's a drink or two. <laughs> At this moment, I really don't care half of me I, oh, it's like whatever half of, half of me really wants to be at home and chilling <laughs> like me buddy so yeah but yeah man um how's the rest of your be- week- weekend been well yeah. you could we can't really go there that's boring oh, okay i um um i checked and i, I mean we have done that before but i it's, um i checked again as to like what swear words can be used on youtube without well you know, as like what words are seen as like bad and what's seen words are not seen as bad. Yeah. Um, and it seems well, it's g- that some of them are, that I've been using, which I've, I mean, I mean, as we've already discussed, I do swear a bit more, <laughs> and whatever. Um, but words, for example, which I thought were like light ones, like yeah. like shit, or son of a bitch. <laughs> if you use that terminology in your first. 30 seconds to a minute yes that's when you that's when your that episode can then be um demonetized or um or just downright kicked out the ass yes with with a youtube boot okay so here we go so words um yeah damn dang oh wait sorry words which are fine to use so you can use these bruce yeah damn dang shoot (laughs) hell sounds like very like very white collar Oh shoot in hell! <laughs> so no, I wouldn't do do very well. But no, but this this is very true. So, so words that are not usually heard on primetime television, like fuck, are also okay to use in monetized videos. However, YouTube says to avoid using these words repeatedly at the beginning of the video, and, and then and then they also check on the thumbnail and on your title as well. Uh, and okay. If all in, so if any of those are dodge. Well, then I see where, when people are when people are using the putting maybe you want to put swearing in the title. They'll yes. they'll put the little symbols Stars, instead. Exactly. Because they'll put if the you first haven't, and the last uh, exactly. last letters. If you don't have those up there, then then you can get into yeah problematic with yeah. YouTube. Because remember, as we decided, YouTube doesn't oh, want us I'm to be happy. happy anymore. <laughs> That's why I swear more. So I'm not happy with them anyways. <laughs> Dude, I have a question. Have you ever seen when you take um uh the p- 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 paper clips yeah. you know just a normal paper clip okay, okay. <laughs> and you have like okay and they're all by themselves so that they are separate yes okay what gets me is okay when you then you then pick them up yes no no in fact i lie sorry at work okay i have a little bowl okay, okay? and when i'm you know when i'm moving a paper clip from a file then I throw it in, into that bowl. Yeah, okay. And then I go back to get the ones which I need. Somehow yes. they somehow <laughs> they intertwine, but not like they get lo- they actually get like looped yes. down to th- the bottom section without moving. <sighs> Have you seen that or is it just me? I think I think it is a I think it is quite common. I don't understand that though. I it's yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's one of those mysteries. I think a lot of times, uh, I think a lot of times people have the same issue with um, wire coat hangers or something that get tangled up, even though you've put them, they do, put them all hang, hung them all nicely in a row. I don't know, maybe I'm just t- <laughs> talking out my. Well, this is what thumb. this. Well, pretty much that's why we're here for the next thirty minutes. <laughs> that's also true. To speak out about dwangs. <laughs> is dwang a word we can use on YouTube? Well, we're thirty seconds. We're, we're more than we're 30 past seconds, thirty seconds. So we can, we can use. Say instead. How dare you! <gasps> <laughs> Oss. yes so that's th- that kind of stuff it doesn't freak me out but it's more like i just don't get it yeah i know it's one of those it's one of those eternal questions i think that that's we... another eternal question is where do my other socks go oh yeah. uh, that's that that i can that i can what ex- happens with, 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 with the socks that um i think they they've gone to they go to the same desert island um with all my guitar picks basically <laughs> 
<laughs> because guitar picks disappear just as much as uh, which kind of makes sense maybe because they're smaller but socks I know they link with each other the left and the right sock yeah and <laughs> what I find what I, I find don't understand what, what I find my the socks that I disappear are the small socks that I use when I when I wear trainers with shorts because I don't wear long socks that yeah. pull up because that just looks stupid thank you <laughs> I enjoy looking stupid. Well, you don't do that very often. It's so secret socks, you know, kind of thing. Which ah, look okay, way I better. don't do that. But those ones disappear on me. And I have, I, I was quite cool the one, the one time I bought, I bought three pairs of color-coded ones. They've got a little, like, colored oh. seam in them. So, like, yellow goes with yellow, and red oh, goes with red, and blue goes with blue. And you know what? And if I was wearing two socks of exactly the same color, but they've got <laughs> st- different colored seams, that would bug the living hell out of me because I'm just that weird. No, I get to a point where I will just match like, okay, this is gray. This is like half gray. I, just wear <laughs> both. Gray. I don't care. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, mm, no, I no, no. I don't, don't. It's a money thing. It's like, whatever. Don't mix. Don't. Really? Mm, it'll bug me. Because they feel different and they look different. And if they look different. Who's watching your feet? I am. As you're running. Well, no, not That's really. weird. No, I do look a couple of steps in front of me. <laughs> I'm not just looking down at my feet. Yeah, so I'll just, run into a tree or something. Just wondering. <laughs> yeah, well, when it was um, Valentine's last year, well, whenever it was, you know, I mean, it happens every year, obviously. <laughs> just in case. Apparently I so, forget. yes. Um, there was a meme going around, which was actually very, very clever. I might not get it exactly right, but it was basically saying that... Fifty percent of socks are single every year. What's your problem? <laughs> <laughs> Something along those lines. So. Or 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 fifty percent of socks are single every year. Um. Okay, no, I don't remember the last part. <laughs> I think we'll just stick with the first part. Okay, it's fine. Well, you you and I don't really do anything Valentine's Eve. No, anyway, so. yes, dude. I got like a um. <laughs> I was with a friend of mine, you, you know, in the sh- 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 shops in the queue last Valentine's Day, the year before actually. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and I was just 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 I'm having a chat about how I think it's a very money making day. Oh yeah. It's, it's got almost nothing to do with love. That whoever I go out with. I will know, and if he doesn't like it, then we're obviously not going to date. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. That if I have to make a special, you know, la- like a huge event for her on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Either for the rest of the year, I do nothing for you. Yeah. Or you let me just be spontaneous <laughs> and it happens, but I'm not going to spend shitloads of money <laughs> on flowers and a freaking restaurant date yeah. because the rest of the world says that I must yeah no, it irritates this, me and you know, oh no this Valentine's Day thing is no no I mean you know at least you know f- for example um, uh, my sister you know you know and 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 her husband yeah they also feel the same way it's like so we need to be you know we need to dress up and go out and you're going to spend money that actually can be used on something more important yeah or is it saying that the woman who want a valentine's day are they very lonely or they feel that they are unlovable or they just like <laughs> gifts and all the three of us isn't going to get us dates yeah after i say that <laughs> i don't know yeah I. Well, uh, what's your view on it um no well, i've been single for a while so i don't do the valentine's day anything well, but don't that um, two of us don't worry about it but um yeah, I, I feel the same. It's just, it's not, it's it's a money-making yeah. ploy. I think any of these, I like Easter. Yeah. I mean, the true meaning of Easter is really lost on marketing. It's not a rabbit. No. Or eggs. It's not, and it's not chocolate. Although chocolate is awesome. But now think about it, though. There's rabbits and there's eggs. <laughs> I never actually have have seen how an Easter bunny appears. And it's, and it's it should have been like an Easter chicken. That's also think true. about it properly. Yeah. It should have been an Easter chicken yeah. or an Easter hen. <laughs> so I don't know where the rabbit came from. Because it's not, it's not a question of what came first, the rabbit or the egg. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, I also, I also don't get that. So. No. no. I prefer to kind of 
look about look at the no, the proper meaning of look into actually what it's of, about actual it's celebration exactly. Although I don't I don't say I don't say no to chocolate. That's the thing. That is true. So and I, what is your favorite chocolate? Not, <gasps> not not that you eat chocolate much. I know that much. I'm not, I do. I do. Really? I do. Oh, okay. Um, I would say lint seventy percent dark. Okay, your level <laughs> is way higher than mine. I either that, either that, wow, or no, just okay. or a whole nut, whole nut Cadbury's Mine's Cadbury's boring, chocolate. Then. What's yours? Because I don't go to that upper echelon in the sky of freaking lint. <laughs> I can't that stuff. I got given my lint on this yeah. Easter. Okay, I so I didn't pay for stuff. it. I didn't pay for it. Exactly. Thanks, thanks mom and dad. Yeah, exactly. It was a seventy percent dark chocolate, and I mean, uh, obviously chocolate flavored. Um, chocolate, flavored <laughs> chocolate. Or an, um, orange and almond Oop. slab. Two more things I hate. Oh, but I'm sure it's good for you though. Oh my word, it was amazing. I actually made it last a week, which you doesn't happen it. often. You made it. <laughs> I made it last a week. Oh, I said you said you you made it last week, as in like I was no. wondering how did you find the recipe <laughs> of lint? Because normally to- chocolate doesn't last when I'm around. No, so. if what well, what I've learned is if um, I buy I buy um, ice cream with me, dude, it's bad. I'll get through a two liter within a weekend. That's why I can't Jeepers. buy it. Jeepers! Be- because well, what I do, okay, you know, I don't say okay, ice cream container bowl. I go ice cream container spoon. <laughs> That's all I do, and then I, I sit, you know, while, while I'm watching something, just slowly yeah. spoon away, and Oof, then no. within a Ooh. weekend, I've gone through two liters. Jeez, like that's that's knowing thyself it's bad. and knowing I that can't. you can't. Yeah, no, that would be me in a jar of Nutella. Oof, no, really? Oh, oh my word! <laughs> I'm, I'm. Look, yeah, okay. Let's 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 do this. Let's let's yep. say this. Like, right. I don't. I don't agree with girls on a lot of things. Okay, we know this. <laughs> Understandably, yes, don't worry. Okay, all right. Girls and I have many disagreements. It's a hell of a lot of fun. I'm probably with you as well. <laughs> but I agree with girls when they say that chocolate s- just makes everything better. Like, because it's just, oh, my word. Yeah, no, I'm fully in agreement with Alf. Do you think that chocolate is an aphrodisiac? No, but it does release. Because it's kind of like pushed a bit like it's it can add to the... It definitely, it actually has been known to release the same endorphins as. What, Jay? Getting jiggy with it. You're the one who does it way more than me, so you can't say jiggy with it. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> to have consensual sexualations relationships. I love how you went to the consensual part of it. <laughs> Thank goodness. Well, seeing as that we've just done that. Yeah, that's also too, true. Yes, just making so it very are. clear. <laughs> uh, I didn't have to do that, you're right. But yes, I mean, I did. It doesn't matter. Yes. Good. Um, fornication <laughs> that's a horrible word eh like who came up with that right right it's, a, it, 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 it's like making love okay cool sex fornication yeah where did that come from i think fornication fornication is a biblical it, oh, it's possible. it happened in yeah, the bible i think true. it was i think i think fornication um sort of goes to the more illicit 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 side of things fornication yeah I could look it up in my dictionary, but I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah, you you would rather actually not know. No, I don't want to. So it makes no. you feel uncomfortable every time you do it from now on. <laughs> just yeah, that, just leave it. That word just sounds so formal as well. It does. <laughs> Shall we fornicate? It just sounds oh, weird. Oh blimey! You see, that's not going to happen if you say that. No, it sounds like no. It sounds <laughs> almost yeah, almost like evil, freaky like. We'll go down to my basement. It's like how it's like um, if you watch Big Bang Theory mm-hmm. and Sheldon lo- Shel- they, uh, Sheldon oh, uses the word coi- funny. Sheldon uses coitus. the word coitus. That's You're right. like, oh my word, no! It's like that's eternal. Let's go have yeah. some coitus. And you wonder why you go home at the loan. Well, he evening. still got her, but they were both really wacky. Yeah, but they both deserve each other well. So have you seen? Well have you seen? Talking about that, have you seen the the girl who plays Amy, his girlfriend? You're gonna ask me th- th- that we shared quite a while ago. Have you seen how attractive she is in real life? The um, I'm um, Katie Kukos. No, 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 no. Sheldon's girlfriend. Oh, I don't. The girl, the no, girl I who haven't. plays Amy, I, the geeky frumpy. No, I, I haven't. Yeah, she's gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous. 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 <laughs> No, I have not. But yeah, she's quite. A t- no, I haven't. I, I haven't. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> Good on you. So no. Yeah. Smashing. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. 
Are you cheating? Have you written stuff? No, I haven't. I haven't. No. Oh, that's right. Because I'm watching you square, which is actually No, really I'm fun. just keeping it on the recording. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's a, a valid point. Make sure you keep track of that. Because yes. um, I am. Don't worry. All right, cool. Oh, there was a movie called Paperclips. That was what I was thinking about. A movie called Paperclips? Mm. I've never heard of that. You wouldn't know because it's, it's more um, um, artistic. Oh, yeah. You and, and not to say that you wouldn't watch artistic, but, no, you but you've always been a lot. Watch lot's... movies as much as I do. So you you kind of like, you know, more, you choose more as to what you can watch in your time allotted. Me, I have a reasonable amount of time to watch yeah you were always you were always more into those into those kind of artists yeah i really enjoy it eh? kind of you, you yeah I've, I've, I've done i've done that a couple of times i mean i remember when when rose was a big thing to go to the rosebank art, oh, house. The rosebank art house yes yeah. i remember you and i actually went to go and see um that version of romeo and juliet that came out oh that was so good yeah with it's the um leo and um Yep, and it's the guy who did um, uh, one of my favorite movies of all time, which is Moulin Rouge. Is it the same guy? The same guy who did who did Moulin Rouge as well. Okay. Hold on, just talk. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I don't I don't remember what year it came out, but uh, that was a good one, hey? Um, I have a collector's edition metal case one. <laughs> Although nowadays... Of Moulin it's, Rouge, not Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, but the problem though, you know, then it was like dvds now when you're looking at it it's like it, it's beautiful box i mean because it's a really i yeah. mean it's you know disc one disc two yes. it's an amazing but problem is now dvds are not even i think they're 720p but i i could be mistaken oh, but basically on. they are not as clear as what we normally watch no and it i mean it just shows like how i mean we we how the um the um ge- the generation of today you know the youngsters we sound so old um <laughs> but but how they have everything so easy oh yeah what's my problem google yeah what do i watch it's always 720p more likely 1080p yeah. which is basically like super clear like yeah. like like netflix will now i mean so there's so much that they have that we, just, we actually, I think we, we worked harder in our. It sounds funny. I don't know what you <laughs> think, but I think be, because we didn't have all the nice stuff. No. I remember freaking encyclopedias. Like if you wanted to, to know about something, you would yep. bring out this humongous bloody book of like, I mean the the, the ones which which we had you know at home. Yeah were actually bought off a you know a traveling salesman they went around yeah they're literally selling encyclopedias <laughs> it's like can you imagine the poor guy's car it's just I full know. Of and they were so big each and like you got 20 volumes of this yes. of like a world book or something yes. like that i mean and we didn't have that so i had to go to the library oh, wow. and you go to the reference section oh yeah where you have to sit there and be quiet and stuff because otherwise <laughs> otherwise you get shushed shush, shush. By the librarian who was never a hot librarian. I know it's a lie. S- I'm just saying it's a lie. Yeah, it's only in movies. Particular kind of movie. Um. <laughs> mine seems. I think mine are above the line normally. <laughs> and not normally. They are above the line. Let me okay, well, rephrase that. Then you and I are watching different movies. That's why we date differently. <laughs> That's exactly why we date differently. Um. And um, yeah, and something that I say with my say to my students because all like the guitar students they just want to be able to play. I'm like, like no, <laughs> you actually got to have to work for it because these girls are. I mean, these girls wow. listen to me. Yeah, um, I, I these the, these these kids are just used to getting everything. You know, three minutes in the microwave, they've got a hot meal. Add boiling water, you got a cup of coffee. Yeah, click of a mouse, you got the world's information at your fingertips. Mm-hmm. And like no. You, you actually got to work for something. Yeah. You know. Stuff was a lot, a lot more different. So this movie is um, called Paperclips. It's in 2004. It was actually very interesting. Um, it is it, 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 it is um, a documentary, actually. Ah. And I'll break it down, what it says on IMDb. Which will 
Middle School in, U in rural, rural Tennessee is the setting for this documentary about an extraordinary experiment in a Holocaust education. Struggling to grasp the c concept of six million Holocaust victims, these students decide to, 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 to um, collect six million paper clips to better understand the extent of this crime against humanity. The film details how the students m m met Holocaust survivors from around the world and how their experience transformed their and their, them and their community. It's a pretty cool idea. Jeepers. Yep. I'd never heard of that one before. It's 2004, but it's actually very interesting. And I actually quite like that in the sense where when you do hear six million, you know, it's bad, but you were never there or... But six million individual paper clips. Okay, so they did One that as, as a as a visual representation. Yeah. Of, and did they did they sort of set them out and on like lay them out on some in some way so you can actually they see the full did scale? Show a, and now bear in mind this is like two thousand four. Yeah. From what I remember, yeah, they like put everything you, you know as to like how six million paper clips look, and you just look at it and it's like. Okay, you get a you get a sense. You of, get not even close. I mean, you know, because I mean. It's it's a paper clip and it's a human. Yeah. But it does give you a slightly better yeah. understanding of what it might have been. Not even close, obviously, because yeah. we'll never know. But it was it was a very interesting idea, and that the and I thought it was cool because the um the um uh, the the youngsters came up with that. You know, not no not you know you know not 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 that they they I'm teacher or whatever. You know, right. That they, they, they just felt. It, you know, what would we like what would help us to actually experience or like feel even slightly what what it would have been because dude i mean two million pe what what did i say six million six million people yes in one war yeah that was a yeah yeah anyways so paper clips <laughs> go watch it if you can i'm gonna go <laughs> i need to get that if you can find it on a download it'd be great it'd be cool to watch that Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> but we, we we don't download here. Oh no, we it's don't. It's not legal. No. Never. No, we don't. But I ever. Are we watching you know, Ever. Gareth has Netflix and he I pays only watch Netflix. It's what I, <laughs> what I, my brother pays for it actually, so Well, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, well well I mean actually it's a deal somehow that he gets that on his Netflix account he, he can, can allow four. another uh, another another person linked to family or but normally those things only work, you know, if they are actually, you know, in in the same I area. But no, it works if you can somehow it works because it's linked to him. Yeah. And then I just jump onto his account. Yeah. And then if he's watching it though, um, on um, on more than one uh, unit, then yes. th 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 then then I can't watch it. Okay. It has to be, yeah. So I mean, for example, if he has has a TV on and his phone on. Whatever weird reason, uh, uh, then I can't watch it. Oh, uh, okay. But geez, that's called multitasking. <laughs> I know, or it's just laziness because you are in a in your bedroom and yes. the TV's on in your lounge room. You're just yeah. like, yeah, I'll get to it sometime. I could never watch Netflix on a phone. I know some people who've no, got Netflix on a phone. No. I just ah uh, no. I want to see the full experience. Well, and either or at least put it on my laptop. You know, I want to watch it decently. Watch it on a screen. Right, you know, not a f not a phone screen because that's just mm -mm. no. It's it's like like for example, I'm gaming. Yeah. People will play. So you know, there's a game which I play. Um. Uh, um. Maybe actually, in all seriousness, it'd be very. I it could be an in an 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 interesting episode. Yeah. You know, on like I'm gaming and the money that you know that 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 that. that that it go that it goes into it, all the way to players who have, um, who have, yeah, who, who basically got to a point where they killed themselves due to, um, online bullying or yeah. they were just. The point being, <laughs> there's positives <laughs> and negatives. It's just interesting. My point being with this, is that there are players and they. Yeah, with with where they will play on their phones, and then, yeah. I mean, it's a little screen. Yes, and the moment that players who play, you know, on console or whatever, start to um, you know to like give a little bit of a you know a rag to the people on their phones, way yeah, I can get a, I can escalate will come fast. out. Yeah, 
So I don't go there. But I just think gaming on phones. No, I don't get it. It's like but I mean, they all spend. There are actual phones made for gaming. I do know that. It's a yes, shitload of money which you was spend on a phone. So uh, it's not saying that it's not happening. I just I don't un- understand it. No, no, I wouldn't. But I must say, something like that would be that if we did an episode like that, it would be an education for me because I'm not a gamer at all. <laughs> whereas you are. Well, I've been I've been lo- locked into my gaming for. I remember, and I guess I can. I mean, yeah, I mean, I won't really talk much about mine because it might be fun later. But anyways, yeah, just the the memories that I have from gaming from when I was like ten or eleven. Jeez, yeah, yeah. I think I was into gaming for like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, you did, yeah, didn't like it. I just, I, just, I think I, 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 I remember um, borrowing a. I had a P. I had a PlayStation One for a while, or, or a PS <laughs> Two. No, PS Two. PS Two. Yep. PS Two. Yep, yep. A friend of mine just gave me one and a bunch of games. He he was upgrading. He's like, it's opposite. It was pretty much. Mm. It was obsolete. He was like, do you want it? I was like, yeah, cool. And I got it. I, that that I played for quite a while, and I enjoyed it. But then I just I lost interest, and then I did I borrowed a PS3 from someone, and I thought I was going to get into it, and I think I got to some point got stuck in the game and just went eh, stuff it. <laughs> <laughs> no, so. look, I mean, I enjoy my gaming because of um, it's 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 an and it's escape at times. Oh yeah, I can and understand it's also, that. And it's just very relaxing as well. Although, like we spoke about last time, and me getting the mood in was freaking. A car driver that's actually in the oh, game. Oh yes, I can get myself agitated. Like I yeah. actually was this afternoon. Actually, um, yeah, before you came over, yeah, I'm. Oof, I got <laughs> so angry at like three or four players. I went off at them like you have no idea. <laughs> Unfortunate part is that they they can't hear me. Oh. Uh. So you should just venting for yourself, you know. You are, I know, but it's like I vent in the sense where I'm hoping that that person c- 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 can actually hear me. Yeah. Obviously, they. Yeah, I they, get you. They could, but I find no, no. I, I, I just like to zone out. I really do. Eh? You know, gaming, and then the, yeah, I mean, you know, and then there's days or like what a week or so where I won't want to play, and then I'll just watch, watch Netflix, whatever's on, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Netflix, the one I'm watching now, in fact, oh, they, 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 there's a new one that actually dropped um, today, actually. No, yeah. on Friday. It's all about this school, okay, where, where um, you know what, I'm probably going to say it wrong, but in an, from what I understand, it's all about a school that is for for um, children of, of like, um, of, of, of um, um, of of um, gangsters and mob bosses and whatever. Oh wow! Where they get within the school, they they then get t- t- trained up in some form of martial. Okay, I need to check this. So they get they get trained up to almost be like soldiers of the their level, but it's a bit more than that. Um, it's um, it's actually b- 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 based on a comic book. Um, that definitely sounds like it could be based on a comic book. <laughs> so I'm just having a quick check here. Um, new Netflix series 2021. Sorry, it looks fascinating. <laughs> Stupid word. Um, no, but I'm, I, I must actually find it. Is it a is it a series or a movie? Uh, it's a series. It's a series. Yeah. Okay. So don't mind me. I'm just. <laughs> Gareth is Gareth is definitely the next the Netflix guy out of out of our friendship because yeah. I'm I'm happy to have it if I'm house sitting, and I've had <laughs> it I've had it for the last month at the different house sitting jobs that I've had, which is great because almost everyone's got Netflix and it's everything. crazy. But like I'll go home and now I don't have Netflix, and it's um I I don't know if I'll actually ever get it, because I feel it's it's actually a bit too much. There's just so much to watch and I, I'm. I'm kind of afraid that I might spend um, a hell of a lot of my time watching Netflix. <laughs> I just enjoy it, dude. So, yeah. It, it, it's especially, oh, you, you know, I mean, you, you know, after, after my long hours. No, okay. my I, week is yeah, insane granted, hours. Granted. And then you do, no, you talk about the whole zoning out thing. 
So definitely. I have to just relax, actually. I don't think this model is zoning out, but it's just to do nothing and just sit and just... There is nothing wrong with that to and do plus for I love, while. Yeah, I mean, I'd, yeah, I love movies because I can just get into them for a while. I just love it. Yeah. So the series is called Deadly Class. Uh, that was, was what I was looking for. And I'll give you a breakdown as to what it is. Oh, it's it's actually an old series. Oh, shame. It's only one season. That sucks. Oh, that's too bad. But it is um, Deadly Class, set in a dark c- c- comic book world against the backdrop of late 80, of the late 80s counterculture. Deadly Class follows a homeless teen rec- recruited into a storied el- elite private school while the world's top crime families send their next generations maintaining his moral code while surviving a ruthless curriculum vicious social cliques and his own adolescence uncertainty soon proves to be vital cool who's so in it sounds it? like pretty much he's not like the rest of the kids okay who's who's in it who are some of I the main i don't think we're gonna know any of these guys i'll tell you now is it? no i don't know any of these people i'm i'm benedict wong you'll know from his face but okay there's a few Reasonably cute ladies in there. But in general, <laughs> no, in general, there's nobody. You're not going to know any, any of these people. I don't know any of these people. Right. If you look at this quickly, that's Greg, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so we're just having a little look wow. at the photo. Show me again. Of one of the... Uh, okay. <laughs> except, except you've got to look reasonably fast and three, two, one, go. Yeah. I know who he was. He was a... David he was in He was in Dexter. David Zayas. Yes. Okay. Did you watch Dexter? I started it. My brother loved it. I just couldn't get into that whole mindset of where oh, I loved it. Where his character was, like his mindset, his world. Bro. I loved it. He was the. I just found it freaky. He was a police. Um, he was quite a, a high up. He was a cop that was also kind of asked after, or no, no, he was he kind of worked with Dexter because Dexter worked in the police lab. Okay. And he was one of the main cops. His name was Angel. Very cool. Oh. <laughs> That's actually very good. I would imagine that they named it for a reason. I mean, linked to what the de- 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 was doing. They needed a another character. I mean, why, uh, otherwise, why would you call him Angel? No, it's, it's, it was his, his, uh, it was a Spanish name. He's actually Angel, I'm but sure they, everyone called Spanish. him Angel. It was just his name in the in the, in the series. Well. I don't know who she is. Neither do I, but she's pretty. She's very <laughs> cute. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Great, either. so we're watching Deadly Class. So there's then. a reason why to watch Deadly Class. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Lana Condor. Lana Condor. Okay, I'm gonna go Google. Lana her. Condor. Once I've, once I've had my date tonight, I'm gonna. Yes, go and you're gonna look Google at Lana, Lana Condor. Condor. <laughs> That's really know it's been a bad date. <laughs> when you go home and Google this like random person you've never even known. Yeah. From some new series on Netflix. I do that all the time though. If I watch these series, I'm like. I'm like, oh, she's cute. And I go cast of whoever that I'm watching because I need to. And then you check. <laughs> I actually do that one, one, once in a while too, actually. Yeah. yeah. I do uh, that. I, do. I go find them on Google and I go find them on Instagram. <laughs> okay. I haven't gone as far as Instagram. I put way too much effort you into do. it. <laughs> you do. I mean, look, fair enough. I mean, it does. that's why I watch and play while you watch Paul's IMDb. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> onto uh, yeah, Instagram. You, you hate it if we were watching something and I, and, uh, oh. I asked to pause You wanted it. to watch the movie on Friday in two parts. Yeah, because I said we'd watch some, eat, and then do the podcast and then finish it. Well, Gareth was like, uh-uh. No, that's like wrong. There's like things that you, you can maybe do that, you know, in um, a series. It's <laughs> possible, but still. <laughs> because if you like, it's like almost, and yo, you need to be going to. So, it's like almost having this like really deep, rich conversation and then halfway through, hold on, buddy. Yeah, I know. Hold that thought for while we have lunch and then we'll cut. It's gone. You were even you even got irritated at me when I wanted to, I wanted to go to the bathroom during Zack Snyder's <laughs> four-hour Justice League movie. He's like, can't you hold it? I'm like, no, I can't. This is you, a four-hour movie. Yeah, Leave you, me alone. I want to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm going to piss all over your couch. Damn it. It's all right, no? <laughs> didn't know that was a possibility i think i needed to go to the bathroom twice and you were like dude what the hell i don't really yeah i mean <laughs> i can go f- for for a long time actually without peeing gareth is pod camel in fact i tr- yeah but it's also a bit a bit um a bit a bit a reasonably bad habit as well which yeah, you can get into actually... where you where i learn now how, how not to 
P, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's probably not a good thing. It's like if you need to go, go. No, I try not to do it anymore. Good. And I'm glad we ended this on a P <laughs> thing. Urination. <laughs> That's another strong word that people don't use. Sure. So where are you off to? I'm, I'm going to urinate. Yes. And then I'm going to fornicate. <laughs> after we communicate. <laughs> I don't know. No. I'm going to go P. We're going to talk a little bit. Then we're going to bonk. <laughs> That's probably also a word that you don't use, but Jesus. I find those words very awkward, actually. Wow. I do. Right. You and need on to that note. pack your bags and <laughs> pack up the set and go have a drink. F- funky drinks. A drink. Who pays for the drink? Um, I, you, that's Most right. of the time I normally do, yeah. yeah. Sometimes, I, sometimes she pays. It's pretty cool. Or she pays for it later. <laughs> Yo. Thank anyway. You. This has been the Spaghetti Junction Podcast. It has been indeed, people. My name is Bruce. My name is Gareth. And we will catch you guys on the next one. And do all the extra stuff that Bruce always says. But oh, yes. Know. Like, comment, subscribe, uh, share. And get it out there and engage with us. And Yeah, I mean, it w- it w- was very interesting. Sorry. We, are, we, 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 we will definitely end here. Where, where, where we, I'm changed, you know, to, I'm a th- th- thumbnail or two. Yes. And I've used... On our last two episodes, went went up like went up quite a bit. Way more, it went up from about six to twenty two right now. Nice, which is just interesting. Yeah, it is. So, guys, you can mention in the comments what you think works and what doesn't work, and yeah, if you like our topics or you have something else. Rowan did ask one for a long time ago, where he said, "Can you do a topic on how to smell color?" <laughs> yes, see. Like, okay. Like, can you s- smell color? I was like. I'm pretty sure he was I just... I think we can have a chat about I'm that. I'm pretty sure he was just being <laughs> Rowan and was looking for trouble. So, no. <laughs> Goodbye, people. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Bye.